today we are at Epcot. My parents are behind us because we are going to do a restaurant review at is it Via, Via, Napoli. Via Napoli because they have pizza and based on pictures looks like a ginormous pizza and there's no way just us two could eat it all. Never been there before, always wanted to go see their huge pizza. So today, restaurant review at Epcot with my parents eating a ginormous pizza. Let's go check it out. Now this is strictly just gonna be a restaurant review. The restaurant's located over in Italy, so we'll walk over that way. We have a reservation for around 8.35, which means we can get in and uh, check in 20 minutes early. So at 8.15, and then, which is in a few hours still, but um, we'll still show you where it's located and then kind of give you a tour and show you the pizza. And it's still currently the Flower and Garden Festival. It's got about another month or so left on it. We won't show too much of the walk going over to Italy, but just yonder, you can see Italy right over there. And here we made it over to Italy. Now the restaurant's located up here on the left. You go to the back, which we will show you. Still not quite time for our reservation yet, but we can at least show you some of the outside during daylight. Should be located right back here in the back. We'll just go ahead and walk down here for now. Look at those clouds. I'm pretty excited. I've always wanted to eat at this place. It's not super hard to get a reservation. Sorry, that's loud one second. It's not super hard to get a reservation, but day of is kind of tricky. So we did it a few days out and we're able, we were able to get one for 8.35, but sometimes you can get day of. And right down here, Via Napoli. Let's go and look at the menu. Just in case it's all mobile, we can show you the menu right now. Here's a look at that menu. Now I'm pretty sure the half meter is the large one. I'll have to look up online just to make sure, but I'm pretty sure, yeah, that's what it is. That also looks very good, the tortellini. You just pointed that out right here. House salad, minimum two people. Interesting. And you can scan QR code for full menu just to do another scan of the outside of the restaurant. Right here is where you will go. If you got a reservation, I'm sure you stand right here, check in, wait for your like name to be called or them to text you and then walk up in and they'll have a seat for you. So as a side note, I read online that um, also they have some of the best pizza. So we're gonna give that a test as well and see if they have some of the best pizza here at Disney World. And also I read on a post online that they have a sangria, oh, there's a bird right here, a sangria pitcher. So I'm not sure if we'll split that. They said it's good to split between four people. Again, parents are with us because the pizza is half a meter. So there's no way we could eat it. All right, we are within minutes of being able to check in. And uh, you can see it's actually kind of sprinkling on us now but this is what it looks like when it gets darker out lights on back there it's actually I love the park at night so we're gonna pull up here and see if I can check in and then it's time to get some pizza look at this though this is a good good photo yeah that looks really nice at evening time all right well about 10 minutes out showed you the menu earlier can't check in yet so we're just gonna have to stand over here until it's our time so check-in is at 8 15 in two minutes but it says mobile check-in is unavailable right now so i will go up to the cast member at 8 15 and check in all right i'm just gonna come right up here and check in since the app is not letting me do it so they said we could either wait inside or where we're at right here under this umbrella um, but they'll call us when the table is ready sweet they just called us so we are heading in. Awesome. And it's also like 10 minutes early. Here's a look at what it looks like on the inside. There is a little waiting area. Look at this. 
We're going this way. Wow. This is cool. Look at those ovens over there. Pizza ovens. Not sure where the restrooms are. There's a whole nother section over there. We're gonna be back over here. There's a sign over there on that middle door area that says restroom, so I bet they're back that way. So it is a touchless menu, so I'm glad I showed you that one earlier. Um, but we're gonna look at the menu. We're gonna get the ginormous pizza, and I don't know what else, we'll see. So the cast member kind of went over a little bit of, a little bit of information, and the pasta and pizza come from two different kitchens. Did you catch that? Um, they have the best pizza in Epcot, because mainly they're the only place that has pizza in Epcot. So I thought that was a funny joke. They did give us a paper menu, which is like the one we looked at outside. And on the back are drinks, so I'll show that. Here's a look at the drinks. So they said the table side sangrias, the pitcher, are really good is what I've heard. They are kind of expensive though. Here's a look at all of their drinks. Flights down there. And then on the other side, here's their full menu. Uh, something about the tortellini though, I love tortellini, it says Parmesan cream cheese sauce. So we're gonna do the pizza, the half meter one, to see what it says. So, and then restrooms are through that middle door to the left, she told me. So they've got this four cheese one that sounds really good. It might be heavy for that much pizza. Or a regular. Not sure yet. All right, so we actually said with a half meter, they can do half of a style and half of another style. So we did half of the four cheese, and he said add mushrooms, it's worth it. And then half of the margarita. So that's what we got for the pizza. And we skipped the sangrias because they are kind of expensive. Um, but we got tea instead, and all they have is unsweet tea. I'm gonna sneak up here real quick and just look at the cool pizza ovens here. Look at that, that's really neat. That's awesome, I love that. Okay, and then restrooms through this middle door and they said to the left. So middle door to the left, yeah, right on down here. One thing I know about this restaurant is it's massive. There's a bunch of seating in here, it's crazy. Love the little painting over here on the wall. Here's a look at their tea. These are cool glasses, I like those a lot. This unsweet tea. It's got like, it's like herbal. It shows that their tea is like the tropical blend. Take a look at the ceiling and you hear how massive it is. Also the ovens that I just showed earlier, they're named after the three active volcanoes in Italy and their faces are supposed to resemble the mythological gods, I guess. I don't know much about it, but I knew there was a story behind it. What were the volcano names? Uh, Stromboli. Etna and Vesuvius. Yes. Are they still active? I have no idea. I don't know. Hmm. But that's what they were named after. Now that I'm back up here again, look at all these pizzas. They do have the names of the volcanoes right there. That's really neat. I have to say this tea is delicious. I would get it every time. Just looking at these desserts though, Look at this fresh berry cheesecake. Also, tortadella nana, a grandmother cake cream. All right. Oh, wow. <laughs> that does look good. <laughs> Thank you. Holy smokes. I mean, this is massive. So here's a look at just two of the pieces of pizza. However, there's a ton of flop, but I think I'll try this one first and try that one next, but can't hardly even fit it on a plate. And how many pieces are there? Two, three, 12, Twelve maybe? 12, Twelve huge pieces. All right, here's this, here's this piece. That is excellent, that's stinking good. That's really good. Let's try the four cheese now. This pizza is stinking good. It literally is some of the best pizza. Let's get some other reviews here. What do you think? Stinking good. Stinking good. Look at that. Look at that cheese come out. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Try the crust. Yeah. 
It's good. All right, we basically ate that entire pizza. It was very good. Um, and then we asked him what would he recommend for dessert, and he said tiramisu. So, we got that to share. Yeah, that looks pretty good. This is what it looks like. About ready to dig in. Looks very tasty. Here we go. That's tasty if you like tiramisu. That's good. All right. We are finished. That was great. They also offer annual pass holder discounts at this location. Here's a look at that bill. $78.83, $8 off. Our server was awesome. We're heading back outside, so it was 10% off with your annual pass holder discount. Like I said, 78. I don't know how to get out of here. They got... Maybe. I don't know how to get out of here. They got it blocked. Uh, maybe this way? But 10% uh, off with your annual pass holder discount. $78 for a couple of drinks, just like iced teas. And also, look at this. Look at this section. A couple of teas, a huge pizza we shared for four people, and a dessert. That's not bad at all. And it's currently raining really hard outside, so this isn't good. we got to walk all the way back to the car. This might be a little blurry because it is pretty dark outside, but it is currently rainy season in Florida, so just expect the rain. Um, we've closed down the park. No, it's not super bad. I mean, we'll be a little wet, but yeah, it is what it is. Um, closed down Epcot, though, because closes at 9. It's after 9. I just missed it, but there was a huge lightning strike right over there. Some fireworks going over there. Spaceship Earth. I don't know how well you can see, but now we're getting pretty wet. My parents are troopers. They're all the way back there, but uh, it's uh, we're clear on... Florida in June and clear on the opposite side of uh, where we need to be going. Kind of got it a little bit. No real update other than we're still walking and we're soaked now and closing down the park. Spaceship Earth. Completely soaked. I mean, my socks are soaked. My shoes are soaked. We have the rain coats in the car. We have the umbrella in the car. Just uh, really, we weren't thinking about it. This uh, video quality is going to be really awful because my phone is soaked. Luckily, we have some lighting right here, but gonna that was... Soon. We're going to run out soon. That was our trip down to Italy. Uh, what is it? Via... Na Via Napoli. Via Napoli. Pizza's amazing. Stinking good. Loved it. Uh, parents loved it. 50-50 on which pizza side we like better. Running out of light, so this video is going to look trash. But um, half... I mean, they both were excellent. Uh, definitely soaked. You can't see right now, but soaked. You love them. The tea was amazing. Some of the best tea ever. Stinking good restaurant. Blurry video. It looks like uh, footage from early 2000s. Definitely pixelated. That's alright though. We're just going because we're no almost... One cares. No one cares. And I mean literally just soaked. That is just wet. But love the restaurant. If you get a chance to go to it, I would highly recommend it because it is fantastic pizza. Some of the best pizza we've ever had. Um, before we close out here, we're going to say... I'm going to show you the Spaceship Earth, but that does it for today. Thanks for watching.